Let's make a quick and easy rain animation in Blender. Start off by deleting the default cube. Press Shift A to add a plane mesh. G to grab, Z to lock to the Z direction and lift it out of frame. Set the camera location to suit your needs. I'll set mine to zero. Rotation around X to 90. Y and Z to zero. G to grab and move the camera back, Y to lock direction. Then select the plane and add a particle system. Under the render tab, set render as to object. And then let's create the object. Press Shift A to add an icosphere. Move it out of frame. You may want to scale the emitter plane to cover enough of the frame. We then want to edit the icosphere to look a little more like a raindrop. Select it and go into edit mode. Press 1 on the numpad for front view. Alt Z or click here to toggle X-ray. G to grab, Z to lock the direction. Just play around until you're happy. S to scale. Let's rename the object to raindrop. We can now select the object for the particle system. Press space bar to play and check the animation. You can change the number of drops emitted depending on the look you're going for. The number emitted is spread over the number of keyframes. Let's make ours a thousand. Now let's add an image to get a better feel for what we want. Shift A to add a plane mesh. Rotate it by 90 on the X axis. G to grab, Y to lock. Let's move it back a bit. Scale it to the correct proportions of your image. Mine is 3 by 2, so I'll use the ratio of 1.5 to 1. Let's add the image. Go to the shading workspace, select the image plane, and add a material. Shift A to add an image texture node and an emission node. Then select the image you want. Press 0 on the numpad to take a look through the camera view. For my scene, I would like the drops a little bit longer, so let's tweak that. In the Particles tab, set the scale randomness to 1. This maximizes the randomness of how large the raindrops are when emitted. Then just play around with shaping scaling and the number emitted till you're happy. Something else you can tweak to get some interesting results is the color and emission of the raindrops. Go to the render settings and turn on bloom to get a nice glow. You might want this to simulate the reflection of the street lights or something. You can change the emission strength and the colors until you get the final result you want. And that is it for this video. I hope that you found it useful. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Cheers for now.